guys. All right, I'm gonna do a little talk before I drive back home. Now I have Maui with me. She's right now with my hubby. I wanna talk to you about my week of my prep when my mom and in-laws were in town. Honest and raw, I was not 100% on my meal plan. I already told myself that this week is the only time I'm just gonna be counting memories and not calories. Often does your daughter turns one and how often does your family come to visit you special day to see their grandchild? I'm not gonna use this as an excuse for maybe closer to the show or anything like that. This is the reason why I chose my show so late because 12 weeks is when I feel like it's a sip perfect amount of time of prepping and disclaimer everyone's in a different stage and depending where they're at sometimes 12 weeks might not be enough for you and sometimes some people need 20 weeks some people only need eight weeks everyone's very different so please do not judge or go based on oh well I did it this is not the reason but I already came mentally prepared I committed really hard with my plan before my family came and I've also have committed to my workouts why my mom was in town and why my in-laws were in town and this week we went out to eat a lot but I made sure that I kind of balanced it out that I didn't go overboard on certain days and still kind of keeping my macros but I did not follow my macros 100% on my daughter's birthday I already told myself I was gonna eat those donuts. The theme was do not grow up. I, it's my favorite donuts from Sweet Retreat at uh, And I already prom I told myself I was gonna eat it and I didn't eat too much than usual but <laughs> When I was putting the donuts away at the end, I did take like a little bite and, and I regretted it I totally felt it, but overall I maintained. I made some food for her. I tried one of each of the croissants that I made. I wanted to just try them out, especially two of them I have never made. So I wanted to see how it tastes like, especially eating the guests. And then I had some guac and chips. So on her birthday, I sporadically ate, but it wasn't the great best choice other days I chose salads and I did have the best burger from Seabird's kitchen and I decided that's gonna be my last burger before I go on stage with some healthy desserts like um it's called checkaholics with avocado and chocolate and coconut so I had that and I did have ice cream Again, this week is not 100% perfect, but I'm going to be real. I This is my last hurrah, my last time counting memories, not calories, with the family and just spending a great time with them. We did go hiking, so that was really cool. We were very active. We It was a very decent hike. The last time I hiked, the hike was called Eaton Canyon Falls. The last time we hiked there was actually when I was 34 weeks pregnant, which was really cool because I was pretty big and it was not too much of an easy hike because there's some balancing of water. And a lot of people were very inspired that you see this huge lady being pregnant, which I was actually 42 pounds over at the time. And here we have a pregnant woman in the wild. And see me doing this hike and they told me I was an inspiration and this time I did a hike with Maui being one years old so that was really cool she was on my back and it was a lot of fun so we did some active stuff I took my um, in-laws to the gym worked out I still did my sweaty mommy throughout the week I still did everything that we need to do and now this week I am 12 weeks out and I am going really hard 100% committed, full out. I'm gonna give it 110%, not 100%, 110% this week, just to make up. And it is time to step it up. I have not checked the scale. I 
believe I'm still at the same weight, but I will clarify and post it right here, let you know where I'm at. But overall, this is my final conclusion of this week with my in-laws in town. They left, and now it is time to just go all hard. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.